Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me today? Well, come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, I'm doing a little bit of DIYing with these mini trees that you can get from Dollar Tree. I know every creator here on YouTube, Dollar Tree creator, is creating with these right now. And there are some pretty amazing DIYs out there using them. Today's DIYs that I'm bringing to you are never before seen DIYs. These are not DIYs that I'm putting my own twist on. These are, well, one of them at least for sure, is a DIY that I came up with all on my own and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. And guess what? It's using these. So go pick these up at Dollar Tree, a few of them, because there's some great DIYs using them. So guess what I'm gonna do? I am, I'm gonna quit my gabbing Let's jump into it and let's do some holiday DIYing on a budget because why not? You know the answer to that because we can and that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. Jumping on into these mini tree DIYs for this first one, you're gonna need five of these. So when you're at Dollar Tree, pick up a bunch of them. They come with this stand, we don't need them. This base removes, we don't need that either. We just need the tree itself. And you're gonna see that the tree is connected to these, I guess, metal, whatever they are, metal rods. I'm gonna hot glue these together just to keep the trees from sliding. And I'm gonna do them opposite ends together, leaving a space here just like so. Dollar Tree has these tree stems, I guess, packages of them. I'm gonna use these to cover up the center here and it's gonna take about three of them. Yeah, cool way to cover that up, right? Wait until you see where I go with this DIY. I think you are gonna love it. I love it. The outcome is amazing. These mini trees are a bit on the sparse side, but that's okay because this DIY is one-sided. We're going to be able to fill this one side out pretty fully because we're going to take those branches from the back side of this tree and bring them forward to really fill it in. And we're going to do that on both sides because this is a two-sided DIY. But wait a minute, we are so not done. Did I tell you that? We need five trees, remember that. So there's still way more to go. Pick up some of the winter picks at Dollar Tree because they're everything. I picked up a few different styles and what's great about these is they are easy to disassemble and use as the finishing touch and embellishments in this here piece that we are putting together. So by disassembling it, we are making a little pick go a long way. For this uh, piece here that I am doing, I used a total of three picks, and that was for both sides. Kind of a fun tip, when you're doing pieces like this, it's always best to add the smaller pieces like the berries and the holly and the pine stems to the outer part because you don't want to draw too much attention to the sides. You want them to look pretty but you don't want to draw too much attention to them because the focal point of this you want to be the center and then your eye goes out. And so for the center of this piece I wanted to go with a white poinsettia and some of the leaves. This is a floral stem that you can get at Dollar Tree. And again, just by disassembling it, I was able to do two pieces with just one floral pick. And so I'm gonna keep it simple here in the center, but simple is elegant and it's gonna be perfect. Ah, this piece needs some sort of a hanger. And so to do that, I'm just gonna use some twine and tie it tightly around the center there on the back. And that's gonna do the trick. Digging on into my wood scraps, I pulled out this one by three piece of wood that is needed for this bottom piece. 
using one of my favorite methods of staining liquid shoe polish this is one i used to use back in the day a combination of black and brown you can get this at the 99 cent store if you have one of those near you just by applying it just like so it is going to stain your wood now the brown with this shoe polish has a bit of an orange kind of red undertone to it that I don't much like and so there is an easy fix to that by using a combination of this brown and the black it is going to darken up this color giving us a nice walnut colored finish now some are going to ask does it smell when it dries no does it rub off when it dries it doesn't it actually dries a lot faster than wood stain and paint and you get an amazing color outcome for the bargain price of two dollars and it comes equipped with an applicator so i'm gonna say it's a win-win so go pick up some liquid shoe polish and uh stain your next wood project with it because why not because you can to the top or one side i'm gonna place a good amount of hot glue here just like you see me doing here then i am going to take my finished piece and right below, I was gonna say above the hanger, it's below the hanger, I'm gonna place this piece and this is going to be the stump to our tree. Now taking two more of the five trees, I'm gonna place them together end to end just like so, but this time you're not gonna have that gap that we had in between the first set. And with this one, I'm just going to use the branches that are on the tree to actually connect the two trees together just like so. And because this is a smaller piece, uh, it's going to be a bit fuller. Now, this is a DIY that kind of tapers up if you get where I'm going with this. And so that is why only five trees are needed. So with this piece, I'm going to do the same thing. Once it is connected, I'm going to use the same floral picks and add those berries and holly berries and I guess pine uh, pieces to each end and finish off the center with a poinsettia. Hmm, as I'm editing this, I am realizing on that first piece, I didn't show how I gave my piece that wintry flocked snow look. It is really easy just by taking some white acrylic paint and putting just a light amount on your paintbrush and brushing over the pine and the Christmas tree, you're gonna give it that snowy flocked look. Easy peasy. For this next section, one tree is all you need. I did take my miter cutters and cut off the metal rod. Once I did that, I hit the base here with a bunch of hot glue because it will unravel if you don't. Then I just went ahead and kind of separated those branches. This is one piece you can see the base here that I glued and just by bending over the branches, and kind of evening them out, I was able to disperse it and make both sides look even, but some of the rod did still show, so I took more of that, I guess, tree garland that matches and just kind of wound it within the center to cover up the rod itself. And finished it off the same way I finished off the last two with those berry picks, the poinsettia, and flocking it with a bit of the acrylic paint. For the top piece, I used some of the Christmas tree garland, and this is an old piece. I actually disassembled a DIY from last year to use it that is already flocked, but I cut it into several pieces just to kind of make a tapered top. And the pieces that I cut are uneven, kind of went from taller to shorter with this, and I'm just going to glue them together side by side. Yeah, giving me kind of the top of a Christmas tree. Yeah, like this. And I did do it two layers thick because it didn't look thick enough. And to this, I'm gonna finish it off the same way that I finished off the last three. It's not even gonna take a full pick, but nonetheless, it is going to coordinate with the last three. Once this is done, you are going to have an amazing focal piece that you can put on a door and a wall. Let's go take a look. And would you look there at this amazing, fun, festive Christmas holiday decor piece that I hung up using command hooks and I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. For this next DIY, 
one of these bicycle wreath forms that you can get from Dollar Tree is needed. To this Dixie cup, I'm gonna add some red acrylic paint. And to this red acrylic paint, I'm gonna add my DIY salt wash. This is a technique that I learned from Jennifer over at A Little Bit of Common Crazy. Now, this is a DIY salt wash that I researched and found the recipe for on Pinterest. Jennifer used one that you can get on Amazon. I will tell you the pre-made one is a bit pricey for the amount that you get. And so to me, it's better to DIY it with some plaster of Paris and a kosher salt. When mixing this with your paint, you're gonna mix it to the consistency of pudding. Then you're going to apply it with a dabbing motion, not a brush motion. You wanna dab this paint on to keep the texture of the plaster and the salt, which is going to give you Again, the texture, which is really fun. If you use a brushing motion, it's going to break apart the bits and bobs of plaster that are clumped together in the paint, and you're just not gonna get the same outcome. So just dab, dab, dab away. I know, right? Look at the outcome of this once it's dry. For this mini tree DIY, you're gonna need two of the mini trees to the center of one of them, I am going to hit it with a ton of hot glue. And I'm gonna go right over the branches, kind of get it onto the metal rod itself. Then I'm going to place a second tree right on top, just offsetting it a bit, I guess, in the upward position. Did that make sense? Upward position? Well, you get what I'm talking about. Then I'm gonna place a bit of hot glue covering up the rod as much as I can with the branches and taking more of those Christmas tree pieces. I'm gonna wrap the top of this, disguising the rod, dug into my ribbon and made myself a nice fun bow using two different types of ribbon. If you haven't seen that tutorial on how to make an easy, perfect bow, I will link that on the end screen of this video and again, using more of the floral picks because they were amazing at Dollar Tree. Why pay anything more than $1.25 when you can get amazing ones there? So go and raid the stash of Christmas florals at Dollar Tree. And yeah, I'm gonna use that to embellish the bottom half of this. And this piece, yep, it's gonna find its place on one side of the bicycle wheel. Yeah, it's that simple. Just by flipping over the bicycle wheel on the back side of that tree, there's some unused tree branches that are gonna work perfectly for holding this in place. Yeah, I know. Quick, easy, budget friendly, and look at what an amazing piece we've just made with a bicycle wheel and a mini tree. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Constance Clark, who is bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Jenga Block Snowman Christmas tree ornaments. Constance, I am loving your spin and your twist and the faces on your snowman. Thank you so much for sharing your recreations with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Yeah, how stinking cute is that tree that just kind of works its way up on the wall using these trees. I love it. It is such a statement piece that will be fun to put up for the holiday season. It's easy to do, it's budget friendly, and the outcome packs a punch. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree DIY. If you're looking for more holiday inspiration or just DIY inspiration, well guess what? I've got you covered. Go ahead and click on the video right over here on the end screen and it'll take you to one of my past favorites. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I sure am. Bye for now, everybody.